there's something so elegant and lovely and delicious and digestible about sourdough bread. There's a real challenge to making certain products with sourdough, but the payoff is huge. The bakery's situated in Kaltibragen camp, which is a World War II prisoner of war camp in Comrie, at the, the sort of foothills of the highlands. Almost everything we produce is sourdough. We make everything from ciabatta, baguette, right through to the sort of dark rye, 100% wholemeal rye, 100% wholemeal wheat. And then we make a range of pastries, so croissant, Danish pastry, pain au chocolat, almond croissant, that sort of thing. The main difference between the bread that we make and the bread that's available in supermarkets and in other sort of chain bakeries is that the ingredients we use are very simple. We use flour, water, salt, no other additives. Another thing is the process. That's a really big part of it, that everything we do is slow. The time taken from beginning to end of the process to make a sourdough loaf for us is about 24 hours. Any well-made loaf of sourdough has undergone a process of fermentation that, that renders it much more digestible. There are people who choose to eat it because they simply can't tolerate industrial breads and they find they can eat sourdough bread without discomfort. We call ourselves an artisan bakery and a big part of being an artisan bakery is the fact that things are done by hand. There's all sorts of ways in which we could mechanise things at the bakery and as far as possible I will resist that because as soon as you start mechanising something you have to make compromises that will reflect in the final product. We quite deliberately do everything we can to to use local flowers. We're working with Andrew Whitley. Uh, he has a project called Scotland the Bread, and that project is about creating a local grain economy in Scotland. So that is our aim, to really move as much as possible towards Scottish grown and milled flour. We were really lucky early on that Andrew Fairley, who sadly passed away last month, he really responded to what we did, and he decided to stop making his own bread, and chose us as his bread supplier. And from then we supply a number of Michelin restaurants, but we also supply hotels, cafes, farm shops. We also do farmers markets. And uh, yeah, that's something that I really love doing. It's really my face-to-face -face contact with the people who eat my bread. Certain people will make a beeline for us at farmers markets and you know, they know exactly what they want. They've eaten it, they simply respond to the quality of what we do. Fundamentally what we do is about producing a product that is good for people, that people love eating. Digestibility is really important to me but also deliciousness. 